Today, we will compare renting a house versus buying a house. You know, both renting and buying costs have been going up so much that both options are quite expensive. Given the fact that I always compare options and that this channel, channel is all about personal finance, money, deals, and so on, let's explore this issue in details. So as a base, I will be using Zillow. So let's go uh, to Zillow. Here we go. And um, let's search for a house in Silicon Valley, let's say uh, San Jose, San Jose, California, here we go. Let's click search. Now I don't want to compare anything luxury, so I'll um, set up some filters. I, again, nothing fancy, let's just look for an average house for a family. So let's just say that I want, okay, it's already set at two bedrooms, home type house. And um, let's narrow the neighborhood a little bit because San Jose is so huge. So let's just say I want to be close to work. I don't want to commute that much. And I want good schools. So let's just look uh, West San Jose. It's probably one of the most expensive parts. Uh, but so is the entire Silicon Valley and the Bay Area. So, um, okay. So let's just set this base right here. Um, and maybe a cheapest. Okay. So we'll skip this. Foreclosure, no. All right. Um, oh my gosh, it's so hard. <laughs> so. Well, let's just say this house, right? So three bedrooms. All right. Okay. So yeah, whatever. Nothing fancy. Again, um, and this is for an example, but really want to set the criteria. Oh my gosh, the schools are awful. Um, that's fine. Let's just say that I want to buy this house. So this is the cost. Right, if I were to buy this house, this is how much it costs. Now, remember that at least 20% uh, down, I believe, um, is a requirement. So, 20% down, I think they had um, buyer tools. Here you go mortgage. Okay, so 16% down payment. Now, who takes a 16% down payment? Let's say 20% down payment. Um, Okay, so this is how much cash you need to have at least to put down on the house. Let's say you take a 30-year fixed loan at 4.538 interest rate and the rates have been going up a little bit lately. Also, uh, make sure to account if you are planning to buy a house, make sure you account for property taxes and insurance. So. Let's say that this is a property tax. I don't know if this is accurate. I think it might be a little bit more, but let's just say that this is no HOA and no PMI. Um, so, okay, so assuming that you also have to pay, and it's not included here, but when you buy a house, you have closing costs, right? So uh, that that is at least, I don't know, two or three thousand dollars extra. Um, let's just say that the house is in good condition and you don't have to do any repairs, right? So just so we have like a good comparison of buying versus renting. But in any case, if you were to buy, um, again, assuming you have this much money yeah, to put down on the house, down payment, you will be, uh, your mortgage and the property taxes and insurance will be Four thousand five hundred and twenty-one dollars um, per month, right? Now the question is, if you were to rent this house, can you find a house that's four thousand five hundred? And again, this is West San Jose. It has three bedroom, two bathrooms. So let's just look. Um, I can't find anything here, but let's just close this down. Now let's assume that now we want to put a filter, not for sale, but just for rent. And I want to put three bedrooms because that's what that was. So it's again, it was this neighborhood. 
so newest okay so as you can see this is what two bedrooms four ba four bedrooms two bathrooms um <clears throat> this is a little bit cheaper than than buying right can't say that compares to the other one it's hard to say because you know i haven't seen the house it's just theoretically that's what will go by the bedrooms right um but yeah i mean not a big difference this is how much you pay per month and i'm not even talking about utility utilities because uh, most likely if you buy you will probably have to cover all of the i mean definitely you will have to cover all the utilities as well if you're renting you um you know not always you pay for everything for water garbage um, sometimes the landlord covers some of it but sometimes not but again i'm not even considering that part in here um so yeah so this one looks like a decent one and the rent is 4300 and again we compare it at 4500 buying a house um and you can rent for almost the same amount of money so it's pretty close so the rent and the purchase price is pretty close but obviously there are many details i did not even include or discuss in here and there are many other variables i just took like roughly um uh, like a very rough estimate right um and it it's hard to say i mean at this point in and it, this is my opinion it looks like renting might be a better choice just because the houses are so expensive and you need to have you know that 20 percent down cash and who has this much money you know uh, around so maybe renting might be a good idea at this point in this neighborhood um this is my opinion if you have other thoughts i always appreciate go please uh, comment under the video Obviously, um, if the how if you buy a house and the house is appreciating price, you know, ten years from now, if this house is uh, five million dollars, obviously, uh, that was a good decision. If you started, you know, you bought it now, um, and then you keep your rent uh, at the same base. But um, again, at least for now, my um, opinion is that at this very moment in this neighborhood, I believe it's better to rent than buy. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks everyone for watching. If, uh, if you have a question, if you have a comment, please leave it. Please feel free to uh, comment under the video and um, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching